All right, so this pet right, I mean, this team right here tries to use Elementium Bolt, and then maybe swapping into the Rapid Nut Varmint to use Rapid Strike. That way, they take 50% increased damage from it, and they'll be stunned for a turn, because Rapid Strike also increases their damage by 25%. But if they get stunned, uh, they won't be able to do damage to you for that one turn, so you can take advantage of it more than they can. But Crimson Geode can also just use Amplify Magic and not swap out. And it will do basically the exact same damage. Uh, I just wanted to see if I had a different pet that could increase the damage of it really quickly without having like a wild caught version of it, without having to rely on the Alteric Brew Pup, who is a much better alternative for this team. And then I just had a Sporling Sprout as kind of a support pet, since he's able to just kind of last forever. He's a surprisingly healy tanky pet and he can just outlast most things all right let's see anyone who might disrupt my combo nope i might get hit really hard by that deathling though but i should still be able to just elementium bolt and then swap out Ooh, a deathwing does he hit my pets really hard i don't think he does I should be good to go. Elementium Bolt versus Elementium Bolt, huh? Rapid Strike might actually increase the damage of it. Ugh. 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 Well, here comes Elementium Bolt. Oh, it's Dragon type. Okay, I was kind of worried for a second. I thought it was going to hurt me a lot. Oh, I still get stunned though, but he has Rapid Strike on him now. And now I have to swap. I guess I'll swap to the Sporling Sprout. Hopefully he stays in. Oh, he stayed in. I can go for two punches and kill him if he decides to go for like a Photosynthesis or something. Wow, that did not hit as hard as I thought it would. Not at all. Let's go for another one. Maybe he won't swap out. Nope, there goes the swap. Okay, now it's time to do the normal combo. Leech Seed into Crouch into Jabs. Jade Oozling's gonna hurt though. Getting an Acidic Goo and a Corrosion, it's always a lot of damage. But with Sunny Weather out, I might actually be able to just out heal that with my Leech Seed and my Racial combo. Well, let's see, that should do. Actually, how much damage does that do per turn? It looks like he has Ooze Touch instead of Absorb. That's good for me. That means I'll definitely get this kill. Uh, a Blossoming Ancient without other pets to really support it isn't a huge big deal. I should be able to kill it as long as I go for some kind of hard-hitting combo. So let's go back into Ron Weasley. He's probably not going to fight. So in this case, I can throw out Elementium Bolt, Amplify Magic, and then just feed back it two times. Oh, he's attacking. He's attacking this time. Oh, it looks like Sunlight went away. Is he going to refresh that or swap out early? I don't know. Should I change my strategy depending on that? I don't think so. I think I want to just do as much damage as I can while he has weak damage. It's one of the biggest weaknesses of the Crimson Geode is his low health and being like absolutely destroyed by shit. Oh, he swapped into a Jade Oozling for the Elementium Bolt. That's smart. That was a good swap right there. And most of my pets are pretty low, but Sporling Sprout is good to go. Ooh, I'm faster. Awesome. I still have one Amplify Magic going. Oh. Ooh, he has a type advantage against me. That's fine. He's going to kill me like in two hits anyway. But that's not good. He doesn't have any heals on these two pets. The Blossoming Ancient might be a pain in the butt. Let's go for... Uh, one jab isn't enough to kill him, so I'm going to go for a Leech Seed first. Try to get some heals up. Looks like I'm faster than him. Is he going to swap out right now? I'm not sure. I'm just going to go for a jab just in case he doesn't. And then I can crouch. Oh no, no heals from that Leech Seed. Okay, well... How about I swap to my low health Nut Varmin and let him take it since he'll come back to life and then I can swap out and save him for later because he doesn't do very good against the tree guy 
Let's go Sporling Sproutin. I don't know if I actually do enough damage to kill this guy. Oh, shit. I forgot Sunlight does that. That's not good. I really want to save Crouch for when I have Leech Seed going. Damn, he's at full 20,000 health. I don't think he really understands just how much healing the Sporling Sprout has, though. Ooh, but that Iron Bar severely nerfs it. Okay, while I have that up, I think I might want to swap into my Nut Varmin, but he's just going to die to the sunlight in the back row. Well, it's my own fault for forgetting about it, I guess. Okay, Crouch time! I'm not sure if I even need to use Crouch, to be perfectly honest. I probably don't even need to use Leech Seed either, since his Iron Bark is just going to cut the damage of that in half. Oh, he heals more than I can do damage to him. Photosynthesis and Iron Bark. Oh, this isn't good. I'm just going to have to spam jabs at him. He heals for too much and hope I get some high hits on it. And I guess I don't have the luxury of going for Crouch or Leech Seed. Ooh, Iron Bark is finally gone, except he's faster than me too. So, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> this is really bad. I can't do damage to him. He does more damage than I do. And he's not going for a sunlight. He's not going to let Iron Bark fall off. He's keeping it up because he knows it's... Oh. Why didn't he refresh sunlight? He could have weaved sunlight in with refreshing photosynthesis. Ooh, there goes that crit. Uh, without sunlight out, I actually might have a chance of beating him. Because I'm healing up every turn too, and he's doing little damage even if he's... Yep, there he goes. A turn of taking no damage, but I'm still healing up a tiny bit. If he just... I don't know why he's not using sunlight. It's weird. He can easily weave that in with photosynthesis. I'm just going to keep spamming jabs though. And just hope this works. Oh, he forgot to refresh photosynthesis. What are you doing, tree guy? You are not playing this well. <laughs> you finally refreshed sunlight. You did it. I knew you could do it. <laughs> wow, you totally had me. All you had to do was just refresh photosynthesis and sunlight and weave it in between your iron barks. And you would have never have lost the debuff. Well, whatever. A full cat team. Do I need to adjust my combos? Um, not really. I should be able just to go straight into MLN Elementium Bolt and then swap out to the Rapid Nut Varmin. Hopefully, I just don't get stunned this time. Ouchies! A call darkness. Let's hope that doesn't miss. Let's go, Nut Varmin. Honestly, I'm probably better off just using Amplify Magic and not even worrying about Rapid Strike. Ooh, that does like no damage. This is a good matchup for me. Whatever you swap into is going to die if you decide to swap out. Yeah, Undead's probably a pretty good pet to take for this. You're gonna get stunned for a turn, and... Oh, shit, I'm not fast enough. I should've used Overtune. I didn't pay attention to that. Ooh, I missed anyway. <laughs> That's not a big deal. An ice barrier? Ugh. I hate people who use this ability. Because I usually just like pass and let me break it for some reason. Or use it to swap out. Well, whatever. Let's see what he's gonna do. Is he gonna try to attack through it? I'm just gonna go for another overtune, just in case. And looks like he wasted his opportunity to do extra damage with rabies. Hey, not my fault. The feline familiar, huh? Yeah, he just used it as an opportunity to swap out. Um, next time I swap into Crimson Geo, he's probably gonna die. Do I want to just do that? Nah, I'll just go for some thrashes. I don't really see me needing to save the Rapid Nut Varmin. A supercharge, huh? Is he gonna go for a flux? 
You know, Flex only works on the damage to the frontline pet. It doesn't actually work on the backline AoE. Yep, he went for it. Supercharge only increases the damage of, like, the very first instance of damage you do. So if you have, like, a dot up, when you use Supercharge, it'll just increase the damage of the dot. It's only really good for, like, super hard-hitting abilities. Alright, Nutvarman, we got this one. Come on, get a triple hit, and this is a win, because he has really low health. Two. You piece of garbage. Oh, my God. Nutvarman... Why have you failed me? Oh, shit. Ooh, that was scary for a second. I was like, oh no, Overtune doesn't do enough damage to kill him. I was like, I should do an Overtune. That way I'm faster than whatever pet comes in. Mr. Bigglesworth, huh? Okay. Well, let's go for a Thrash, then. Um, Crimson Geode. I'm thinking, do I want to use him? Oh... Oh, he went for a pounce, huh? I thought for sure he might go for like an ice barrier or one of these other two abilities and then swap out or something. Okay, it looks like Crimson Jude can come in and set up his Elementium Bolt while taking 25% less damage. Oh, an ice tomb, huh? Well, that's an interesting ability. Are you going to bring in the Flux Fire Feline to take Elementium Bolt? That's a pretty good idea. Oh, he's bringing in the feline familiar. Well, maybe he can still swap. Not like set in stone yet. Oh no, Ron Weasley, I'm totally gonna let him take the ice tomb. Oh, he's gonna take the elementum bolt on his full health pet with 50% more damage. Ooh, wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna go for a leech seed. I probably should've went for a jab. Leech seed doesn't, I don't need the heal and jab still probably does more damage even is leech seed enough to kill him yeah it is I can set up crouch this turn without having to waste a turn with a jab I can take less damage oh <laughs> I was so I thought it was like in a mechanical type it was gonna come back to life or something ow that hurt oh no spoiling sprout the cleanup pet oh he already had his racial going Okay. Well, good job. 